Hi, Pam Washington here from Build My Cleaning Business. So I've got a doozy of a topic for you today. We are going to focus on uh, how you can create an employee handbook for your cleaning service business. How fun is that? I get asked about that a lot. So uh, there's sort of two parts to this. So the first part involves sort of some deep reflect sort of work and then we're going to jump into the second part of which there's four components steps one two three and four okay so in part one though this is a phrase that I use a lot when I'm talking about uh, business success or planning of any of any type uh, I talk about that you want to begin with the end in mind. And that is a phrase that I got from Stephen Covey. Uh, he wrote a book called The Seven Habits of uh, Effective People. And uh, this was one of his main steps. And so here's what I want you to do. I want you to imagine that you that you've died, that you've passed away, and you are actually at the funeral service uh, as an observer. So you are, are overlooking your funeral service, and there are people there who are going to talk about you uh, in the context of four different categories. So someone from your family is going to talk about uh, what sort of a family member you were. Uh, a friend of yours is going to talk about what you were like as a friend. Someone that knew you in business is going to talk about what sort of a business person you were. And someone that knows you from your community is going to talk about what sort of community member you were during your lifetime. So if you will take a few moments and write down some of the key words that you hope people would use to describe you, what, that, what you write down for each of these will help you to begin to understand what are the most core values that you that are important to you. And interestingly enough, you need to take those core values and integrate them into your employee handbook in order for it to be truly effective and reflective of who you are as a business person and what you want to accomplish in your business. So that's sort of part one of this exercise. And then part two is an actual four step process that I'm gonna give you um, uh, on how to create, begin creating your employee handbook. So uh, step one is I want you to contact your workers' compensation carrier if you have employees, which of course you do if you're writing a handbook, and ask them to give you some sort of a template that will cover the basics of safety, driving policies, and also drug and alcohol. Okay, and their template will also include some of the appropriate rules and regulations for your area. So that's step number one. Step number two, three, and four are all very similar. Uh, we're going to talk about how do you want your workers to comport or behave themselves as it relates to your clients, as it relates to the company, and as they relate to each other. So these are the broad categories, and then let me give you some uh, suggestions. So uh, how you want your workers to conduct themselves with, re with regard to your clients. So this is where you'll cover things like attendance, dress code, um, you know, maybe phones, phone policy, um, conflict of interest, ethics, things like that, okay? Uh, when you're thinking about how you want your workers to comport themselves as it relates to you as a company, this is where your non-compete 
or your non-solicitation clause might come in. Um, maybe where you'll talk about company equipment and supplies. Uh, you're going to talk about, you know, their scheduling, you know, and just open communication in general. You know, if you have an open door policy, what that looks like. And then when you talk about how you want your workers to conduct themselves as they're relating to each other, maybe you want to talk about honesty, gossip, profanity, things like that. Uh, you want to talk about if you have any sort of a whistleblower policy in place, uh, procedures for that. And, you know, how important it is that they give 100% of their best efforts at all times. Now, I'm going to even give you an example of how to create one policy in particular. Let's say that we're going to talk about the attendance policy, okay? So what you do is you get that piece of paper out, and you just write your number one, two, three, four, five things, you know, just as bullet points. And then from there, you can begin to create a process around it. So one is, you know, be at work every day. <laughs> you know, this is what I want around calling in sick. Uh, this is what I want about requesting days off. Uh, this is, you know, maybe what's going to happen if you have an unexcused absence. You know, you're going to define that, what it is and what happens. Okay, so this is how you begin to, to create a specific policy. You just write down the bullet point and then you can elaborate, you know, and write out some sentences. But the first thing is to just get your main points down, uh, you know, around attendance. These are the top four or five things that are important. And then later, you know, you write out all of your sentences like that. So. Now you have the framework with, uh, around which to begin creating your employee uh, handbook, policies and procedures. So that's all for now.